What's up, man? Um, survive in advance, right? I mean, uh, your thoughts on the tightness and the physicality of this game? I mean, coming into it, we knew that we were going to be playing a good team um, with a really physical, tough defense, and uh, they showed us that. And I think on both sides of the ball, we played really well and very physical, and I think that's just what it comes down to in the SEC, you know, tough physical games, and we ended up coming out on top. You right. mentioned that physicality. You got hit three times. How were you able to just keep composed? It seemed like you never panicked. It's kind of been the theme, I guess, but I mean, getting hit that many times and seeing these guys coming at you. Yeah, it happens. I mean, they brought a lot of pressure at us. Um, they gave us a lot of different looks. Um, obviously, go back, watch film, see if I could have changed something to, you know, maybe make some guy not miss or, like, change the protection. But, I mean, you get hit in football is part of it. Um, just stand back up next play. Carson, with the running game struggling, did you feel you had to make a play? Uh, no, never. Um, I mean, towards the end of the game when we needed the most, the running game started to pick it up. We leaned on our offensive linemen like we always tend to do in the fourth quarter, you know, get behind them, Dejon Kendall, um, whichever back we throw in there. But, I mean, ultimately, we've got so many guys that are going to make plays that I, all I have to do is be myself. Carson, did you, did you know that Nas had those kind of needs? No, I didn't, but he did get hopped down. You know, it looked it's, he had like a big old backpack on his back or something <laughs> slowing him down. So, how big was that play? I mean, just for him to be able to make a play. Now? I mean, a huge play, especially um, at that point in the game. You know, they're starting to drive down, two minute situation, trying to go down there and score to. You know, I think we were up nine, so make it like a one point game. Um, if they probably would have gone for two or one, but um, to make that play on defense, a huge momentum shifter. Seems like every time you guys needed a big play offensively through the air, you went to Ladd. Just the way he came through in the clutch, you feel he's taking that next step? Yeah, I mean, obviously he's came up clutch this week, um, last week as well. Um, big time on third downs and obviously explosive plays. Um, obviously the coverage that it gives us um, dictates who gets the ball, and it's just it's intended to be him. I was working in that third quarter, two touchdown drives for you guys. Wind up being a you know, big deal in winning the game, but what was working in that third quarter on offense? Um, I think this whole entire season we've been so good at um, coming out in the second half, especially the third quarter, and making adjustments based off what the defense is doing against us. Um, that and obviously going out there and executing, you know, getting that energy back, getting a little rest during halftime, then coming out strong and being physical. Walk me through the Oscar Delp touchdown. <clears throat> um, I think I think it was third. Was it third down? Yeah. Um, third down, we just had like a little uh, in route there and like a little shallow coming under. Um, safety played over the top of him, tried to just nail it on his back hip. I mean, that was a huge catch. That was a huge, huge catch in a huge game. Glad mccarthy has been your leading receiver in the past two weeks. What is it like to just have a guy like him with Brock out, a guy that knows the ins and outs of the offense? Yeah, I mean, he stepped up huge, and you know, I've said this so many times, but the amount of reps that we've had over the past four years, you know, we came in together, um, whether that's in the offseason or during the season, um, obviously there's a lot of trust there and a lot of uh, built reps, so I know exactly what he's going to do and exactly what he's going to do. Obviously a big stretch here for you guys uh, this one. How does this one feel when you're at home? Maybe we get a big win against the top ranked team. That has a lot of yeah, players. absolutely. I mean, coming into it, we knew that it was going to be a tough matchup. Uh, we knew that they were going to give us their best and we were going to give us or give them our best as well. So to be able to get that win, especially as an SEC East opponent, um, it's a big win for us. Carson, I doubt we'll talk to you during the week. So with this final home game coming up, do you think what it could be for you, maybe your final game ever between the hedges? Um, I mean, I'm not really thinking that too far ahead. Um, obviously, enjoy tonight's win. I try to keep it day to day, but um, I am super excited to uh, have a good opponent like Ole Miss. I'm pretty sure they won tonight too, um, or today earlier. So to have them come into our house, I'm um, super excited. Carson, you're out there as the holder for Peyton after he hits that career long to put y'all up two scores. Um, you know, what'd you say? Um, I mean, obviously, I was hyped. If you go look at the film, I mean, I was super energetic. Um, I called him the Ice Man. You know, I mean, every time that he's uh, stepped out there in the past couple games, you know, he's nailed those field goals, and obviously, they ended up coming huge tonight.